this is terrible. And um, it is an issue that we have to be very careful of in mountaineering, particularly high altitude mountaineering, uh, and in ice climbing, and in any cold weather sport, really. So frostbite can happen anywhere. But when you're at a high altitude, uh, the lack of air pressure decreases your body's ability to generate heat well. So there's a few things that you're constantly asking when you're in a mountaineering setting. Can I feel my fingers? Can I feel my toes? How is the tip of my nose doing? How are the tops of my ears? These are things that we have to actually consciously think about because if we don't, a really common situation is that you're just not focused on your fingers and toes and that you're focused on climbing the mountain. The result is you get back to your tent, you take off your glove, you take off your boot, and you see some frostbite. So it is a real hazard uh, at high altitude. People who, real high altitude, like 8,000 meter peaks, people who choose not to use oxygen have a much, much higher incidence of frostbite but it can happen anywhere it's cold. And as you go higher, even places like Rainier or Whitney or whatever, frostbite can be a real hazard in cold weather conditions.